The other receiver in the news, of course, reports yesterday morning that Brendan Ayuk um, did the thing that, you know, we've seen the depots do, request a trade from the Niners. That rumor shut down quickly by Ryan Williams, who's representing Ayuk. He's his agent, okay? He said, you need better sources. This is a bit of a yikes for me, okay? I wasn't surprised the report turned out to be unfounded because everyone I've talked to that has any ties to the Niners believes Ayuk's going to be back. Even Dante Whitner made, you know, made, Dante Whitner made me feel silly for even asking the question. I've seen all of the different things he was posting on Instagram. Mm -hmm. That's just adds to the mystique. I think that eventually John Lynch, Kyle Shanahan, and the 49ers organization understand how valuable Brandon Ayuk is to their um, ultimately capturing the Super Bowl and the Lombardi. So, yeah, give it a little time, but it, it'll all play out. Okay, don't forget I did talk to Debo. Um, when he recovered from the heartbreak of the Super Bowl, and I talked to him about his teammate and what goes on this offseason. Take a listen to Debo. It's not going to be all fine and dandy like you think it's going to be, man. You got to stay the course. You know, you didn't did everything possible that yeah. you didn't did for you to be in a position that you didn't be in and just let everything play out. I think letting B.A. go would be a huge mistake. A huge yeah, mistake. Yeah, I, I, I love that guy. I don't see him, I don't see him <laughs> leaving, though. I don't see him leaving. I mean, I feel like who would know better about the situation than Debo? When I look at the situation, um, you know, it's similar to what's going on with T. Higgins. The Niners are a team in the thick of their window. They're right there. Why would you give up such a key piece to the team? And then Ayuk side, I don't know how much leverage is there, right? It's hard to see him passing up on the $14 million, $14 million that he's owed this year. So I know the fans of 31 other teams don't want to hear this, but I do think we see Ayuk run it back in the Bay this year, whether an extension gets done or not. I think the same thing happens on both sides, and they're sort of plotting that course. Um, so trade requests usually sort of have a – it's kind of like a – a cry for help. It's the thirst trap on Instagram to get your ex-boyfriend back kind of a vibe to it. Like, let's just, let's bring it to the table. Like, don't make me go here. Don't make me press this button. But I do think if you really break it down to the to what both sides want and what both sides need, they'll hopefully find a way to turn this around. Um, and by the way, for the sake of things of discussion, if things do turn, uh, I talked to Hamilton about this this morning. Steelers, God forbid the Ravens go get him. They could. Oh, my God. Imagine Ayuk on the Ravens. That would be crazy. Um, but the, the team that I'd like to see on the phone lines this morning, yo, Elliot Wolf, what up? Patriots, fresh off a visit with J.J. McCarthy this weekend. If they do plan on drafting a QB third overall, they're going to need some support uh, for him to avoid putting him in a like Justin Fields-esque fail situation. So if you look at this, guys, the New England doesn't have a receiver on the roster that put up even 600 yards last season. So there are some solid complimentary pieces here. They need a number one. We know they were in on the Calvin Ridley bidding. They still have a league most 53, 53, 53 million in cap space this year, a projected $144 million next year. They can afford to break him off, which some of these other rumored teams or cute fits cannot. So if I am Wolf, I am doing everything I can to make this happen. You want to sell tickets, that amazing front office, uh, the amazing people who work behind the scenes at the Patriots year in, year out up there in New England? Ayuk's a sexy name. That's a good name to put on that, uh, to put on the end to support your, your new quarterback, whoever that might be. Um, everyone has a price. I cannot let my rookie quarterback walk into a situation and not set up for success. So that would be great.